Thursday nights here at Cedar Point are really a love letter to fans of this park. So today we're gonna go hang out and we're gonna find out everything that we possibly can about Hollow Weekends in 2023. I hope you're ready, I hope you're excited. Let's go experience it all, let's go. Now, Thursday nights at Cedar Point do have a few notable things that are missing from their lineup, especially their shows. So if you wanna find out more about shows, I do have a video specifically about shows um, where I ranked every single one of them. Please go check that video out. I'd love for you guys to find out about those because I absolutely love the shows here at Cedar Point. But there is a ton more than just shows here and that's what we're gonna go explore tonight. This is my 39th time entering the park here today um, <laughs> or this year. I absolutely have enjoyed this season so much and it's not over yet so maybe i'll get to 50 i don't know <laughs> we'll see what happens now i think we have some friends over at the boardwalk so i think that's where we're gonna head right now now as this video is being recorded it is the 27th of september which means by the time this video gets released it's going to be the very beginning of october and at that point Tons of you guys are going to be wanting to come here, explore, hang out for the holiday. So it's time for us to figure out everything that Hollow Weekends has to offer for you. Like I said, other than shows, go check out another video for that. Here we go. Oh, I love it. New. The new Droco merch. All the, all the platforms. All of them. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> the corral is closed. I'm surprised they closed the corral, but I'm glad for it. I, I hate that place, I'm not gonna lie. Derby Dogs is down too. Another place I have a vendetta against. Coaster's Diner, we're gonna grab something to eat. We already found Droco, so we don't need to go eat at the boardwalk. Let's just grab a quick burger and get out of here. All right, fun, easy, fast and uh, we can get right on to it. But, and also we found three chairs, so we can all sit down, let's go. All right, since we are talking everything Hollow Weekends today, we're gonna hit this really fast. Oh yeah, <laughs> I always forget, you gotta touch to start, get a card, accept, I understand. And then you put some cash down here. It's 40, I'm done, finished, issue card, and then it'll pop out a card for you. I already have several of these. You can reload them also. Um, sure, they can send me. No, you know what? I don't. It's fine. And now I can get a nice fruity drink that's very lightly laced with alcohol. Because <laughs> honestly, there's not much on it. All right, we are headed to our very first haunted house tonight. And that haunted house is midnight. Then we're going to work our way back, probably opposite direction of what we did last time. Um, but we're going to check out every single part of Hollow Weekends to do the best coverage of it as possible and get a good, decent amount of each part of it. Midnight! Let's go! Nobody on it. <laughs> the clowns are coming out to play. They are creepy. <laughs> like I said, I love the shows. We're going to just do a very short overview of what's at each show. This one is the Shrieks, and not just the Shrieks, but it's also the main stage for the opening scary monies. Um, and then they have three different shows that run. Like I said, the Shrieks, they also have uh, the Midnight Syndicate show and then they have one other show that runs every uh, night, but only on Friday night, Saturday night, and uh, Sundays also starting at four o'clock. Now right now, we are headed over here to the Inferno Bar, one of my favorite places to grab a little cocktail. And they have a really cool cocktail here too, so we're gonna check that out. Um, not that we haven't done this before, we certainly have, but we're gonna get it one more time just because it's very good. Okay, so normally I have done the Inferno here, but I think this time I'm gonna get the Brimstone. Uh, it says blue raspberry with vodka and dry ice. 
So we're going to try that one instead, see what it's like. We also have Fortune's Folly. Green Apple is always too much for me. Mr. Jingles is Creamsicle. That, that's a red flag right away there. Um, I want to drink your blood. That is very good. I've had it in the past. What's up? How are you doing? <laughs> cool. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. It only bubbles for so long, we're gonna try it while it's bubbling this time. Okay, blue raspberries may be a bit too too tart for me, but they do have a thing at the bottom that secures the straw and secures the dry ice inside it so that you don't end up getting like a mouthful of burning dry ice that's going to completely scald you. Um, so that's a really good thing. <laughs> but definitely a fun, creative drink that you can get here. now. I hate the sugary rim. I'm just not a not a sugar guy, but you don't have to drink the sugary rim. It does look really cool, so I like it without. I think I would prefer the strawberry though rather than the blueberry. So the forecast was showing the possibility of some rain tonight, so I kind of expected that there was going to be rain. Um, it's not rainy, and I also expected that it was going to be cold. It's not cold. As a matter of fact, I'm already unbuttoning this shirt, which isn't unusual for me, but it's a hot, sweaty night. And I'm surprised at how hot and sweaty it is. Um, but it has a nice little breeze, so it's not terrible. It's just enough to make you <laughs> wanna cool down, that's all. I thought for a minute the Millennium had no line, and it doesn't, but it's because it's delayed today. One more show that happens that I absolutely love um, is the Red Garter Saloon. Um, inside the Red Garter Saloon, you have a bunch of vampires that have a rock show. <laughs> it's very, very fun. It's called The Fangs After Dusk. Definitely go check it out. But that's all I'll say right now. Once again, I have a video about it if you want to go check those out. Oh my gosh, I'm super scared. And here we go into the dark and into the fog. It does look like maybe some of the fog's holding a bit better. On more humid nights, it does seem to hold more. On less humid nights, it seems to dissipate more. Hello! There is, you can't see it here through all the fog, but there is Dread Time Stories back here and an incantation that the Witch Sisters have back here in the back, right across from the fort. Um, I absolutely love them. They are hilarious and you need to go see them even if you're an adult. Just stand far away from the children, but go see it. Our next fright is Slaughterhouse right over there. We're gonna go check that one out next. Let's head out to it. Even on a Thursday, this area is pretty busy. Surprisingly more busy than I kind of expected it to be. Look at that huge shadow. What a stud that guy must belong to. That shadow must belong to. <laughs> We're gonna head on into Slaughterhouse right now. Let's go. Right at the end, they just scared her so bad. <laughs> Yoko, awesome. <laughs> they targeted her all the way through it, though. Hey, it was. It made it more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Both of the haunted houses has been pretty fantastic um, so far. Better than the first night. Um, both of them have been scarier um, and have been packed with, with frights, which is really, really fun. So I've been enjoying it. Let's see where we go next. We are headed into Blood on the Bayou, Into the Fog. And it's into the fog because the fog is a pandemic that is, I, I don't know, turning people into mummies, making them sick and desperate. I'm not totally sure what it is, but it's relatable content and it's very, very fun. So let's go. This year you come in on the right and stay on the right side of the path, which is what feels natural. Last year you came in on the left but they've rerouted it this year, so you go through the whole thing basically backwards from what they've had the last two years. Hey, we're by ourselves again this time, guys. We get to get scared by ourselves. <laughs> Poor Yoko has to go ahead of all of us. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, these are cool. <laughs> I love it when Yoko gets scared. I don't think that's what Drew meant, though. <laughs> He always tells you to go find Father Jabba. Father Jabba is in here. <laughs> hey, he's the father. Father Jabba. That's the preacher. That's who you're supposed to find. Yeah, Father Jabba at the cemetery. Right into the fog. <laughs> they like the fog. They really pump the fog back here. And they do a great job of keeping it. There's still a few spots, obviously. Pretty well fills the entire space. I still miss when this was Forbidden Frontier, though. I've run through that tunnel before. During the scavenger Yeah, during the Forbidden Frontier. Doesn't look like it. She's stuck down there. So, okay. Love the theming. Love the fog. Love the views. But it was m way less scary this time than it was before. And even before, you just didn't have a ton of scares all clamored in one spot it's a fun one again good theming good storyline that's part of what's fun about it tonight is the first night that Droko is filming Finally. like for a full video so go Finally. check them out Not just shorts. <laughs> yeah they've I mean, got lots of shorts go follow them go check them out um, we're gonna have some fun together here at Cedar Point and over the winter too probably oh, sure. we'll probably oh, hang sure. out Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's go. Here's Mr. Midnight. We got a Mr. Midnight sighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we stand Mr. Midnight. I love seeing him. He's so much fun. All right. I love this area for Halloween weekends. It is so cool. Um, when things open up for the evening activities, these all become great little spots where you can have a drink and hang out. Some fire pits. Um, and I love them. They're so cool. You can see the glass beads inside them. It's such a cool area. And this is the area where on my relaxation video I talked about you could come back here and relax. Also inside of this space. Although it looks like that may be closed. But what a great area. I love being able to listen to water. And to have this wheel going right now. You can come stand back here, get some relaxation, and get away from the scares, which I think is maybe worthwhile, especially for somebody who doesn't really love the scares out here. <laughs> so, <laughs> definitely fun. And on a really cold night in particular, tonight it's probably too hot, but on a really cold night in particular, it's a nice place to be able to kind of warm up a bit. Cedar Point's been doing a lot better with that. They also have some warm drinks this year, so on cold nights, that's something I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of come this October, which is only in a couple days. Also, Drew and Yoko are getting a drink right now. Maybe I'll get one too, we'll see. I have not been to Midnight Elixirs yet, so it's kind of a cool place to go check out anyway. Let's go see what it is. <laughs> you, can, you can just... All right, thank you very much. All right, they added something new to it this year. We got some teeth. I like it. Show me your teeth. There will be blood. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. There will be blood. I don't know all the words there. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Yeah, I love it. That's so cool. We are headed on back to Bloodbath right now. Because from Bloodbath, we can get out of that. We can head to Cutthroat Cove. Then we, from Cutthroat Cove, we can go straight over to Cornstalkers or to... And then from Cornstalkers, we can go hit the Fear uh, Circus. That's not what it's called. It's been three years of this. I still can't remember what they're all called. <laughs> Goldfish brains, guys. Let's go. Let's watch Steel Vengeance from back here. And here we are at the Club Orpheus for one more time through the club. Let's go. All right, we are headed to a hard rock clown concert. That's next on our list. Let's go see it. And then we're actually going on the beach for just a little bit. Oh yeah, we love a chainsaw. <laughs> Another thing that we did not talk about in this video was all of the kids stuff and that's because kids stuff does not happen on Thursdays. It does happen on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just like the shows do. Um, but if you have a kid and they want to do, uh, you know, corn mazes and all kinds of different stuff like that, um, they have a, a lot of different like uh, special special event stuff that happens. If you're wanting to know about kids stuff then you can go check that out in a previous video that I've also done <laughs> uh, about coming here to Cedar Point with kids um, especially for this so definitely good. Yeah how you doing? Oh, good. good. <laughs> Headed off now to Cutthroat Cove our next ride or not our next ride that's our next walkthrough attraction and as long as they'll let me I'll film on it too have a good one
Oh, you can't? So we just did Corn Stalkers, and right before that we did Pirate's Cove. Um, both were fantastic. I wish I could have filmed on both of them. I don't know why I can film on Blood the Bayou, but not on any of the others. Um, tonight anyway, but that's what's happening and like I've said before if someone tells you who's an official here at Cedar Point that you can't film I don't film <laughs> that that never happens because cool kids follow the rules. So um, TM Molly McCormick for that two of them fall right into each other So as soon as you're done with Pirate Cove, then immediately you can go straight to uh, Corn stalkers as soon as you're done with corn stalkers, you could go straight here to Slaughterhouse also. That's another option. So they all kind of lend right to each other. Um, so if you do it in the right order, you can hit one after another, after another, after another, and end up going this way. So it's not bad to go around the right side of the park to get down here and then start doing those. So that always works. Let's go on to our next one. This video is about everything you need to know about Halloween weekends, but that means I need to clear up something here. Usually you are not going to have incredibly short lines like this for Maverick. We're going down Maverick right now. If you're here on a Friday night, it might be a little bit shorter. Saturdays, absolutely not. Sundays, sometimes it's decent, but they're never going to be as short as Thursdays. Thursdays are your absolute best days to be here. Probably followed by Friday, and then Sunday, and then Saturday as a last result, it, as a last resort. It is by far the most busy day of Cedar Point uh, Halloween weekends. And I'm here at Maverick, let's go. All right, next ride we are headed to is Freak Show. Let's go see what this one's like. So on a Thursday night, Freak Show at this point has absolutely no line, nothing at all. Now tomorrow night, even late at night, it'll have a substantial line. But tonight, nothing, we can walk straight on. So let's go. All right, Fear Ground Freak Show is always very fun, they did kind of get me a little bit here there wasn't the scariest but it was definitely fun and now we're headed into the farmhouse kitchen grill to go grab something to eat on our way out i think we're gonna have hit every single haunted house tonight which is definitely fun let's go if you haven't yet you should go check out merch it's a great way to support the channel and it is also a great way to uh be able to get something when you support the channel for that uh, so definitely go check that out we have merch hats we have some stickers we have all kinds of different things that you can check out there at the merch store uh, go check it out it's in the link down in the description and we are on our way over to steel vengeance to hang out one more time here I just almost walked right into a trash can because it is foggy hello <laughs> it's definitely unsettling. <laughs> so we're going to go hit Seal Vengeance right now. Do one more thing tonight. We've only got about 15 minutes left in the evening though. So we don't really have a lot of time to do anything else. This will be our last thing that we do tonight. But it's been a great night here at Cedar Point, and you can see that lines are very short for a lot of things on Thursday evenings, especially for the coasters. A lot of people are local, they've ridden all the coasters before, um, and they're waiting in line more for the uh, haunted attractions. But you can still get some really short lines for haunted attractions also definitely worthwhile one way or another so let's go we're gonna have to put some stuff away and that's okay 
So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for everything about Hollow Weekends here at Cedar Point. Let me know if you guys have any questions about Hollow Weekends here. Uh, if there are things that I can answer that I can help you guys out with, I would love to do that down in the comments. Let me know what you guys need to know, or I'll make a video about it specifically so that you can see with your own eyes exactly what it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and let's go! We are here on the boardwalk at Hotel Breakers. The rooms are open at this point. Oh my word, look We're at the lights. Oh. Guys, look at the lights. Oh my God, he's so cute. That is cute. Wait, that is really cute though. How much do you think it costs? I love be being able room? to hear the waves. It's amazing. $400 a night? I stayed, I stayed in that room. In that room up there? The one to the left, those those rooms up How there. How much is that it was, to get the top It was 350 one. There's no top one. That's just oh, the that's top big. of the rotunda. Yeah. Oh, never mind. It's not that exciting anymore. No, and all of those all of those are the cheaper rooms also. Yeah, on Monday. So you do have all of Sunday night. I think that's different from last year. It's always hard for me not to get a nice little video of the rotunda. The fire stays on for a very long time at night. I love the fires. They're my favorite. I stayed out here last night, or I stayed out here last year until about 4 a.m. one night. It was very, very fun. Guys, look what I found. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week, so press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also, check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again, and let's go!